What's happening Artscapers? Today is demolition day. Let's get into this. So here we are. We've got the back retaining wall out. I started breaking up the shed slab. We've got this all pulled out so far. We're gonna keep going with this a little bit more. For today, though the bin is completely full, we'll just start piling it somewhere that we can just easily scoop it. And then tomorrow we'll just continue doing much of the same here. bin is completely full that's gonna fall back we can only fill this halfway so that's all gonna fall back when the truck picks it up we normally would put plywood down the side here as we come back but in this case this is gonna be all ripped up anyways side walkway will go in last so with the bin full all we did was just plow everything into one big pile to get ready for the next day to be able to do that I also took out all of the concrete pad which is in the back shed here
So this got it. Ow. This got a little soupy back in here, but we were able to get that shed out. Now there is a conduit here that I believe goes into the pool for a light that got snapped off. So we're gonna actually have to replace that. Also, if you can tell here, there's a bit of a lip on this concrete. Now this was the only single section that I was a little bit worried about prior to deciding to overlay this with our pool coping. And, and you can tell because of that lip that this section actually slopes towards the pool. Every other section slopes away from the pool so that we're good there. So we're actually gonna remove this section anyways. Also to be able to pour a new pad to be able to raise those screws up to the level of the pavers when we're putting our diving board section back in. But anyways, we would have had to do that because now we gotta replace that electrical for the light. That conduit is literally just below the surface. So anyways, we're gonna be digging a French drain along here to the front. No matter what, we would have snapped that, we would have hit it. So at least we know we hit it. At least we know before we go ahead and re-pour this pad area that we're gonna have to replace a electrical conduit anyways. That's what we got done today, pad out, lots of interlock out. The next day we're just gonna be clearing out interlock and I'm going to be also cutting. My saw is ready to go. That's a funny story, I'll save that for the next day, but I'll be cutting the rest of the coping, hopefully around the pool, get that done and get moving along on this project. If you enjoyed this day two video, I'd appreciate a like, a comment below if you have any questions about anything that you saw today. Really appreciate the engagement and just watching these videos. Would love to hear from everyone that's just watching them. Comment below anything that you want, any questions, or just say hi and where you're tuning in from. And subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.